Hey, what's up, gang? Welcome back to some more ASVAB goodness here. Anderson here, as always. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this video if you support our channel and support others trying to get on the same path as you. So let's get started here. John's bank account, it pays 7% interest compounded annually. If John deposited $2,000 in his account a year ago and $350 today, how much does he have in his account today? All right, guys, the answer here, it's B. It's B, $2,490, and here's why. So first and foremost, we gotta analyze the question. We gotta know what that key word is, all right? And so the question is, how much does he have in his account today? So how much does he have in his account today? So how much money do we have? now? The key word is today, and the reason I highlighted that is because if they're saying, hey, look, how much do we have today? Well, my first question is, what the heck happened? Like, what happened before? If you're saying, if you're asking me to tell you what's going on right now, well, I need to know what happened before right now, right? And so I'm just being practical here. I know it sounds like I'm making it sound simple, but it's really, that's how you got to think about it. Be simple. Be simple about it. So what happened before? I'm reading through it, and it says... Well, he deposited $2,000 in his account a year ago and $350 today. But there's something special about that, that $2,000 that he deposited. Because that bank pays 7% interest every year. 7% interest compounded annually. So what that means is that after a year, he gets 7% of that $2,000 put into his account. That's what interest is. And so honestly... If you don't like credit card debt, it's because of interest. If you don't like paying off you know, your loans in your car and you think that it's taking a little longer than you thought, it's because of interest. If you're paying off a house and you feel like you've already paid the value of the house off, well, guess what? When you took that mortgage, you probably got to pay interest. And so that's the thing. Interest is like the bane of everybody's existence. But enough of that. Let's go ahead and get back to the problem. So again, he has $2,000 now. And after one year... We're going to add 7% of that into it. So what is 7% of 2,000? Well, 7% of 2,000, we can just go ahead and multiply here. Because remember, 7% translated to a decimal is 0.07. So remember that to find the percentage here, you got to multiply. And so that'll end up being 2,000 multiplied by 0.07. Now, this is one way to do it. Or honestly, guys, you could just do it with mental math. You can multiply the 2,000 by 7 and then move the decimal place back two times. So here we go, I'm gonna do it mentally. Seven times 2,000 gives me 14,000. And then I'm gonna take that decimal place and put it back. One, two, so that's $140. The interest was $140. Now why is that important again? Because again, John got that money put back into his account, he got that money for putting his money into the bank. And so with that said, we have that 2000. We're going to add on the $140 of interest that he earned. And we're also going to tack on the $350 that he deposited today. So don't let that fool you there too. And so there we are. That'll give us 2490 once we add it all together. And that's why B is the answer. So remember guys, we have a bunch of ASVAB material here at www.duranlearning.com. Don't shy away from getting the help that you need to succeed, man. Because, yeah, we have these great videos here on YouTube. Now imagine what else you can do with the miles and miles of problems that I have for you with video solutions to help you out. So check out duranlearning.com for all of your ASVAB needs, and let's get cracking. I'll see you guys next time.